Well, hello everyone. This is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is Tech 15. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my very favorite sites and this is Kahoot. Kahoot is very similar to Socrative if you've watched our video on Socrative. This is another student response system, a little more game based if you will. And this is another device agnostic tool. This is where anyone on a laptop in a computer lab with a device or a smartphone. Your students can give you responses to questions, information, polls, or other things that you are trying to glean from them. Kahoot is a student response system. You can also use this in conferences, professional development. You can use it in any situation or setting where you would like to be able to get responses from a large amount of people. There is not specifically a limit to the amount of people that you can gather information from. I've seen this used in classes of 20. I've seen this used in conferences with 200. So it is wide open. If you are a teacher or professor or heck even a student if you'd like to use this, it is very easy to get access to this particular tool. To start using Kahoot and to actually build your questions and quizzes in Kahoot, you want to actually go to getkahoot.com. That's where you actually build everything in Kahoot. And then you go right here to get my free account. It's very quick, very easy. And the only person who actually has to build an account is the person asking the questions. The teacher, the professor, the coordinator, the person presenting, whatever the case may be. If you already have an account, you click on sign in and you sign in. Once you are in, you have multiple options. You can create a new Kahoot. You have your My Kahoots. Right now, you'll see that I have three. You have options to go and look at other people's public Kahoots, and you could actually use those if you wished for your own. Most people tend to create their own. And then from there, you can look at facts about the site, as well as support if you have questions. You can create quizzes, discussions, or you can do a survey. And then from here, you can look at your stats. Kahoot will actually allow you to create reports. You can send them to Google Drive. You, you can actually have different types of questions. You can see how many times something has been played, how many players have played with you, with your different quizzes and Kahoots and discussions, things along those lines. So for this, I'm going to create a new Kahoot. I'm going to choose, for today, I'm going to do a quiz. And I'm going to start by asking or giving it a name. So let's start by giving the quiz a name. I'm going to call this library orientation. That's what I'll create mine to be. And then we go. So my very first question, and I'm just going to do one today. So for instance, where do you go to check out books in the library? And then if I would like, I can choose a file. I'm going to choose one in my Dropbox file. I have a list of images. And if I wanted to put a book in there or whatever the case may be, or a stack of books or whatever I might like, right now it's a little big. I could change the size of it. It pops right up when you uh, put it on the screen. And then from there, I can put in my answers. I can put the circulation desk. That would be the correct answer or might be the information desk or the checkout desk, whatever you might want it to be. Um, from there, I might want to put in the reference desk, if that's one of the, the book desk. You have to have one right answer, four wrong ones if you want this to be a multiple choice type answer. And then I can say, I'm just going to make up something. So that's incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. This one's correct. I can change my points if I wish. I can make more questions. I can take one away. I can make points. I can say that there are no points. Uh, the video, you can have a video component that is experimental at this time. Um, you can have 30 seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds for folks to answer your questions. I'll make it 10 seconds. And then I will save and continue. And I can have a description of my quiz. I'll call this library orientation for my school library. I will make it uh, fairly easy. 
I'm going to make it public. My primary audience is a school. I can have tags. I can have keywords. I'm not going to worry about that today, but that's how you generally set it up. This particular one is in English. And if you want it to be public, it will go into public cahoots. You can make it private if you wanted it to only be for you. And that is totally fine. You can do that as well. And then you save. And then you can do a cover. You can have a picture and you can have an image as the cover of that um, particular quiz if you wish. I'm going to put in the I live dangerously, I read in the bathtub, why not? Some of them look a little small right here, but don't worry, they show up later on. You can also do videos. Videos at this time are experimental. They're still working with that. And then at this point, we can preview it, we can edit it, or we can play. And if you're ready to play, you click play now, and that does take us to Kahoot and play. And the way that you play is what you do is you tell the folks who are playing with you when you click launch, you're going to tell folks to join you at Kahoot it. What's going to happen is you're going to have the words Kahoot it and anyone who wants to join you, they will go onto their device, their smartphone, their laptops, their um, tablets, their computers in their lab, wherever they just go to Kahoot it. And then they put in this number, what they will see on their screen, it'll say game pin, enter. They type in 71590. And when you feel that everyone's ready, you're going to see the numbers here on the screen. The numbers will increase. And also you'll have names of players that will pop up on your screen. A few things, just so that you will know, only one person can use a name at a time. So if you have more than one Katie in your classroom, you might want them to use their last initial for their last name. Um, folks can also use pseudonyms, but if you are trying to do reports, you might want folks to use their real names. And then from here, you can start. So this is a very quick video about Kahoot, a quick and easy way to have early questions in your class, late questions or exit ticket class questions in your class. This is a quick and easy way to check and see about information or knowledge or to gather knowledge during a class or a professional development workshop or during a conference. Students love it. It's a lot of fun. They do enjoy the competition aspect that Kahoot it brings. And it's just really enjoyable, really fun and very exciting. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, we will have more videos for you soon from Tech 15. Thanks so much. Have a great day.